Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day in our glorious Jehovah God. Um, today, I will be reading Psalm 22 to go along with the word I received on 5 November. It is the most heartfelt word from the Father. Ever so beautiful. And, um, I know he'll get me through this Psalm 22 because it's it's telling us about what our perfect Savior went through the pain and the anguish that he went through okay so here's Psalm 22 My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them they cried unto thee and were delivered they trusted in thee and were not confounded but I am a worm and no man a reproach of men and despised of the people all they that see me laugh me to scorn they shoot out the lip they shake the head saying he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him let him deliver him seeing he delighted in him But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have come past me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouth as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell on my bones. They look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword. My darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him. And fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee and the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord. And he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him. And none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness. And to a people that shall be born that he hath done this. Let us pray our wonderful and mighty God. Our mighty Father Yahweh, 
He who sits on the throne of glory forevermore. Thank you, Father, for sending your precious Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, down to earth. He willingly gave his life because he loved us. And he was in complete obedience to you, Father. He did your will. He said in the gospel, he was here to do your will. And he finished the work that you gave him to do. And he is the mighty savior of the world. There is no name other than his precious, perfect name that can save. And Father, you have made his name above all names. His is the mightiest name of all. Thank you for the promise of your beautiful Holy Spirit who dwells within us who gives us comfort who convicts us who keeps us on King Yeshua's straight and narrow path thank you my Father my glorious God I love you so thank you for your beautiful words that I'm about to read to your children for me and for them I love you Father in King Yeshua's precious and holy name Amen and Amen I received this word on 5 November today at 10.21 a.m. Daughter of Zion, write my holy and pure words from Father God Yahweh. If you are to be accepted in the Father's kingdom, you must be saved by my son Yeshua. My children, my son, forsook all in complete obedience to me, the Father of all creation. Did he feel any pain? I tell you, he felt all of the pain and agony more than anyone has ever felt. For, my children, He took upon all of your wretched sins and all of your shame. My precious Son did this for you, O inhabitants of the land. He loves everyone so very much, as do I. Do you think it was easy for his Father to turn my face away from him? As he was crying, Father, why have you forsaken me? I tell you, my children, that was the most hardest thing that I could have done. Do my children of this earth appreciate what my son did? Many of you are stone cold. Your hearts will not be turned into fleshy hearts. They will remain hardened, as I hardened the heart of Pharaoh, who was unrepentant. So shall I harden many hearts of this generation. It is in my hands the fate of each one of my children. I am the control. Do not be one of the children that I will give over to a reprobate mind for their continued iniquity and outright disobedience toward the one and only true God. I am the Almighty and I will severely punish the ungodly. Father God Yahweh.